Welcome to this audio visual guide on handling unit level data of the annual survey of industries or ASI. The industrial sector is a cornerstone of the Indian economy. So the compilation of robust industrial statistics is of paramount importance for both impactful research and effective policy making. The annual survey of industries or ASI is the principal source of industrial statistics in India providing key information on the characteristics of the country's registered manufacturing sector. This enables an objective evaluation of India's industrial scenario. ASI is being conducted annually by the Enterprise Survey Division under the National Statistics Office as per the statutory provisions of the Collection of Statistics Act 2008. It covers all factories registered under Section 2M1 and 2M2 of the Factories Act 1948. The survey also covers the BD and cigar manufacturing establishments and all electricity undertakings engaged in generation, transmission and distribution of electricity that are not registered with the Central Electricity Authority. Apart from these, units with 100 or more employees registered under any of the seven acts or board or authority in the business register of establishments verified by Field Operations Division. However, defence establishments, oil storage and distribution depots, departmental units such as railway workshops, RTC workshops, government mints, water supply, gas storage, etc. are outside the purview of the survey. Now, few important facts about the Annual Survey of Industries. The reference period of the Annual Survey of Industries is the financial year from April to March. The survey is conducted from November to July for the selected factories using an establishment approach for data collection. The factories in the ASI frame are classified in their appropriate industry groups based on the principal product manufactured according to the National Industrial Classification 2008. The National Product Classification for Manufacturing Sector, that is NPCMS, 2011 codes are used to record input and output items in the ASI schedule for inquiry. A complete and up-to-date frame of all the eligible units is an essential prerequisite for any large-scale survey and the availability of a proper frame is one of the most critical requirements for working out correct multiplier to arrive at reliable estimate. For selection of units in the annual survey of industries, Registered factories or units maintained by the Chief Inspector of Factories in each state and those maintained by registration authorities in respect of BD and cigar establishments and electricity undertakings are used as the sampling frame. The ASI frame is revised, updated every year by the Field Operations Division of NSO in consultation with the Chief Inspector of Factories in the States through the ASI web portal. At the time of revision, the names of the deregistered factories are removed from the ASI frame and those of the newly registered factories are added. The primary unit of enumeration in the survey is a factory in case of a manufacturing industry, a workshop in the case of repair services, an undertaking or a license in the case of electricity, gas and water supply undertakings and an establishment in the case of BD and cigar industries. The sampling strategy followed in ASI is a mixture of census and sampling, with some units being covered under the census sector and others in the sample sector. The units are covered under the census sector and are surveyed on a complete enumeration basis. The units in the sample sector are selected adopting a stratified circular systematic sampling strategy. The ASI publications contain detailed results of factory sector in two volumes. Volume 1 of the publication presents data relating to capital, emoluments and several other economic parameters relevant to the industrial sector like input, output, gross value added, number of employees, wages, etc. The volume 2 of the publication provides details on materials consumed and ex-factory value of products and by-products, 
both at all India level as well as at the level of states and duties. The summary results for the factory sector is prepared with the objective to draw attention to certain key features of the ASI results and the same is being brought out as a separate publication. We now come to the unit level data of ASI. In this part of presentation, we will demonstrate how to download the unit level data of ASI 2022-23 and use it to generate estimates of parameters. Let us quickly navigate through the steps. We first need to visit the website of Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and then click upon the Micro Data tab. This will take us to an external website of the Micro Data Library. Here we need to click upon Annual Survey of Industries and we will be navigated to the list of here wise data of Annual Survey of Industries. On clicking upon Annual Survey of Industries 2022-23, the page for downloading the microdata opens up. As we click on Get Microdata as encircled, we will be redirected to the login page. Users who are already registered may use their existing email ID and password to log in to the Microdata Library portal. However, the new users need to first register themselves in order to be able to access the unit level data of ASI by filling up this registration form. After successful registration, the user will receive a password in their registered email ID. With this password, new users can now log in to the portal. Before proceeding with extraction of unit level data, it is recommended to refer to key documentation such as Structure 23. This file contains the data layout of ASI. NPCMS Master 2011 Revised and ASI Schedule 2022-23 and many more in the Download tab. The one encircled in the RAR file of the unit level data of ASI 2022-23 that needs to be downloaded and extracted in a desirable location. This downloaded file contains a Nestar Explorer application which needs to be installed in the computer. After installation of the Nestar Explorer, the user can access the unit level data from the ASI 2022-23 study file which contains the data sets. Now this is how the data set of each block would appear to the user. Blockwise data can be exported from the encircled icon and saved in any desired file format as present in the list provided in the drop-down at any desired location. However, if a user saves the ASI unit level data in TXT format and needs to be converted into .csv format, the guidelines demonstrated here must be followed. Once the downloaded ASI blockwise data is saved in the .txt format, that is the delimited text format, in a desired location, the RAR file named text to csv asi needs to be downloaded from the documentation tab of the microdata catalog and to be extracted. This RAR file contains a text to csv asi.exe file and another runtime of Visual Fox Pro 9. Here it is important to note that all the blockwise data files and the text to csv asi.exe file need to be placed in a single folder other than the desktop. Also, the nomenclature of the text files downloaded should be the same as appears in the data sets of the microdata catalog. First of all, the runtime of the Visual Fox Pro 9 as encircled must be executed by the user. Thereafter, the text to csv asi.exe file needs to be run. After this, the user has to click upon the Convert to CSV tab. When the conversion is completed, a message as encircled will be displayed on the screen and the CSV files for all the blocks will be generated in the working directory. Having glanced through the steps to download the unit level data of ASI, let us proceed to demonstrate the procedure of estimation of parameters from ASI unit level data. As already demonstrated, the unit level data is saved in a desired format. 
Here, it is important to note that these blocks contain data pertaining to individual units identified by DSL numbers. Estimate of any parameter for each DSL is obtained by multiplying the value of the parameter with its multiplier subject to the status of the unit. This is also available in the remarks section of Annexure 8 of the ASI manual as can be seen here on the screen. Having said this, it is intended to draw the attention of the users to the A block which contains the identification particulars including status of the unit denoted as A12 and multiplier for every individual unit or DSL number denoted as A1 where the DSL number acts as a unique ID. This unique ID that is the DSL number is available in all other blocks represented as AB01 in block B, AC01 in block C and and so on. For illustration purpose, we shall estimate all India figures of the total fixed capital and total output. So for this, let us glance through the tabulation program as available in the Annexure 8 of the ASI manual and the metadata. As can be seen from this tabulation chart, fixed capital is derived from this formula and is the net closing value of fixed assets. This will give us the individual values of fixed capital for each DSL representing each unit. It. Now, in order to estimate fixed capital for each DSL, we need to consider Block A and Block C together as Block A contains the status of the unit and multiplier for each DSL required for this estimation. So, an Excel file has been created with the Block A data wherein the values of fixed capital DSL-wise have been posted alongside the A block data. Thereafter, all India figures of total fixed capital has been estimated using the formula encircled as per the tabulation program. This estimate of fixed capital matches with all India estimate of fixed capital as published in ASI 2022-23 Volume 1. In a similar manner, to estimate the total output, let us glance at the tabulation program once again. It is seen that the total output comprises of two different components that is the value of products and by-products and other output derived from block F, block G and block J as given in serial number 14 and 15 respectively. Now the values of various components of total output DSL-wise have been posted alongside the A block data in the Excel file file created as can be seen on the screen. The last column for output is the sum of the components derived from block F, block G and block J. The formula encircled here gives us the All India Estimate of Output which matches with the estimate published in the Volume 1 of ASI 2022-23. Users may similarly estimate the parameters industry-wise, state-wise and or state cross industry-wise as per their requirements. So this was all regarding the steps involved in downloading the ASI unit level data and the estimation of parameters from ASI unit level data. Thank you.